Welcome. In this video, we will walk through how to trigger an Insight device using your Siemens PLC. It is important to note that the steps outlined in this video will be the same for any device that uses the Insight Vision Suite. This video requires that you have already prepared the Insight device for PLC connection, searched for and added the Insight device to the PLC, and generated the ProfiNet tags. If you need assistance with any of these steps, please refer to their videos. Triggering an acquisition from a PLC consists of setting certain control bits and reading status bits. These bits work together to keep the PLC and vision system in sync. The steps covered in this video are the minimum steps of logic necessary to trigger your InSight camera with the PLC. The ladder logic that will be added to the rungs is found in the main program block. Ladder logic is a graphical programming language. The program is mapped in one or more networks. When you program instructions, you must specify which data values the instruction should process. These values are referred to as operands. The activation of the normally open contact depends on the signal state of the associated operand. When the operand has the signal state 1, the normally open contact closes and the signal state at the output is set to the signal state of the input. When the operand has the signal state 0, the normally open contact is not activated and the signal state at the output of the instruction is reset to zero. The activation of the normally closed contact depends on the signal state of the associated operand. When the operand has the signal state 1, the normally closed contact opens and the signal state at the output of the instruction is reset to zero. When the operand has the signal state 0, the normally closed contact is not enabled and the signal state of the input is transferred to the output. You can use the assignment instruction to set the bit of a specified operand. If the result of logic operation, abbreviated RLO at the input of the coil has the signal state 1, the specified operand is set to signal state 1. If the signal state is 0 at the input of the coil, the bit of the specified operand is reset to 0. The instruction does not influence the RLO, the RLO at the input of the coil is sent directly to the output. You use branches to program parallel circuits with the ladder logic programming language. Branches are inserted on the main rung. You can insert several contacts into the branch to achieve a parallel circuit of series connections. This allows you to program complex ladder logic. The open branch instruction is used to create a new branch within a network, allowing for parallel or conditional logic. The closed branch instruction is used to close a branch in the ladder logic program. Rungs and networks are executed from top to bottom and left to right. This means that the first instruction in the first rung of the first network is processed first. All instructions of this rung are then processed. After this come all other rungs of the first network. The next network is processed only after all rungs have first been run. Double-click the assignment instruction to add it to the first rung. Double-click the question mark to open the drop-down list and select Trigger Enable from the list. Press the Enter key to add the instruction to the rung. Setting this signal allows the vision system to accept triggers from the PLC, and the vision system will respond by setting the Trigger Ready status signal high when the vision system is in the online state. These will be added to the next rung of the ladder logic. Drag and drop a normally open instruction to add an online instruction to the network to rung. Double click the question mark to open the drop down list and select online from the list. Press the enter key to add the instruction to the rung. Add a second normally open instruction to the rung and add a trigger ready instruction to the rung. Press the enter key to add the instruction. From the bit logic operations list, double click set output and select the trigger instruction. The output is now set. Drag and drop a normally open instruction to the network three rung. Double click the question mark to open the drop down list. Select trigger ACK and press the enter key. From the bit logic operations list, double click reset output and select the trigger instruction. This will reset the output. Click the Compile button to compile the project. 
click the Download to Device button and click the Load button. Go online. Notice the change in the green lines. Since the camera is not online, the power flow stops at the online instruction. Open InSight Vision Suite. Click the Online button to put the camera online. Notice the green lines as the camera triggers. Click the Online button to put the camera offline. Click the Go Offline button. A best practice is to name the rungs to identify what action each rung is executing. To name the rungs, click next to the network name to open the field. Enter the rung name and press the Enter key. Rename Network 1 to enable camera trigger. Network 2 to trigger camera. And Network 3 to reset trigger. Select rung 2 and double click a normally open contact to add to the rung. Double click the question mark and enter M10.1 in the field. A new memory bit is added. Select rung 3 and double click an open branch to add to the rung. Double click the reset output to add to the branch. Double click the question mark and enter M10.1 in the field. Select the memory bit tag and press the enter key. This will reset the output. Click the Compile button to compile the project. Click the Download to Device button. Click Yes to overwrite the main block. Click the Monitoring On-Off button. Clicking this button will display the monitoring mode allowing you to see the program execution. Notice the change in the green lines. Since the camera is not online, the power flow stops at the online instruction. Open InSight Vision Suite. Click the Online button to put the camera online. Right-click the memory bit tag on rung 2. Select Modify, Modify to 1 from the flyout menu. You have successfully triggered your camera using the PLC. Move the part in the camera's field of view and repeat this step to manually trigger the camera again. Return to InSight Vision Suite and click the Online button to put the camera offline. Return to the TIA portal. Notice the change in the green lines. Since the camera is not online, the power flow stops at the Online instruction. Click the Go Offline button and save the project. The steps covered in this video are the minimum steps of logic necessary to trigger your InSight camera with the PLC. For more information, check out the other videos in the Connecting to the Siemens PLC series. Thank you for watching.